Editing item content in Umbrico. Please note that this section goes over editing item content in Umbrico, but it is a best practice version of common elements that may or may not apply to your customization of Umbrico. In order to edit content on your website, you will need to find the corresponding editable item in the content tree. Once you find your item, click on it, and you will see that Umbrico has now given you properties that you can edit on this item. Saving, Previewing, and Publishing Content To save and publish any changes after editing an item in Umbrico, click Save and Publish. If you would like to preview your changes before you make them live, click the arrow next to Save and Publish and click Save. After clicking Save, click Preview. This will open your page in a new window where you can view the changes that you've made. If you're happy with your changes, click Save and Publish to publish your changes to the live site. Content tab. The content tab contains the bulk of where you can make changes to your item in Umbrico. In this example, we are looking at a general text page that has basic editable properties, including a rich text editor, content picker, and media picker. Please know that your website may have more or less options depending on how the developer set up your website. Rich text editor. Our first property is our body text. This rich text editor is used a lot for body copy on your website and works a lot like Microsoft Word. The toolbar has a lot of properties on it that can be active or hidden, depending on how the developer has set up your rich text editor data type. Some commonly used items on the toolbar include the style list, inserting links, inserting images, and inserting macros. If you aren't sure what an item is on your toolbar, Hover over the icon to reveal a tooltip that will let you know what that icon does. Formatting text in the Rich Text Editor. Once you have copy in your Rich Text Editor, you have some options available to you for styling your copy. Keep in mind you can easily remove any formatting you may no longer need by highlighting the text and clicking the clear formatting option on the toolbar. The Styles drop-down list will have different options available to you for formatting text on your website. These options will vary depending on your site design and how the developer set your rich text editor. To use a style from the list, select text in your rich text editor and then pick which format you'd like to apply from the style list. Other options you have available for text formatting include bold, italicize, underline, justify left, right, or centered text, ordered and unordered lists, an indent or outdenting text. The toolbar also has an option for inserting a horizontal row and a table. The table works similar to how tables are inserted into a Word document. Inserting links in the rich text editor. In order to add a link to text, you need to first select the text you wish to make clickable, and then click the insert slash edit link option on the toolbar you will get a menu that opens, allowing you to select where you would like the link to go. You either enter a URL to your document manually, or use the content selection below to quickly link to a page in Umbrico. The advantage of using the content picker to select a page within your site to link to is that the link in the rich text editor will reference the unique ID of the page you've selected. This local link will always link to the page you've selected even if in the future you decide to change the name of the linked page. That can save you a lot of time having to go back and update links throughout your site in the future if you do decide to change a page's name. The page title will be inserted automatically based on the page name when you select a page from the content area. You are also given the option to define the target of your link. Typically for links that are within your website, you would want the link to open in the same window. If you're linking to a third-party website or document that you want to open in a new window, select the Opens the Link document in a new window or tab from the drop-down list. If you'd like to link an item to your media section, such as a PDF, use the Link to File button to navigate through your media to find the document you wish to link to. To remove a link from text in your rich text editor, highlight the link and click the Remove Link option on the toolbar. Inserting images into the rich text editor. 
In order to insert images into the Rich Text Editor, click your mouse where you want the image to be inserted. Once you have the location picked, click the Media Picker option on the toolbar. From here you have two options. One, add a new media item into your media section by clicking the upload area and selecting a file from your computer. Or two, navigating through the media already uploaded into your media section. For organization purposes, it's recommended to upload and organize your media in the media section before inserting it into the Rich Text Editor. When uploading your image, please make sure that it is already sized properly for your website needs. By default, Umbrico will not allow images with a file size larger than 5 megabytes to upload. Optimizing your images before putting them on your site will save you time and increase your download speed for your website visitors. Once you've selected your picture, click Insert. Inserting Macros into the Rich Text Editor Macros in the Rich Text Editor tell Umbrico to run a block of code in the specified area. This code is defined by the developer, and depending on your website, you may or may not have macro or macro properties. This code is defined by the developer, and depending on your website, you may or may not have macros or macro properties. Let's take a testimonials page for example. At the end of the content, we want the testimonials to appear on this page. We know we have the testimonials macro available, so let's insert it. Click the Insert Macro option on the toolbar. From the Choose a Macro dropdown, select the testimonials macro. Here we have an option to show all testimonials, or just the testimonials that are children of this page. In this example, we are going to leave the default option and click Select to insert our macro into the Rich Text Editor. You will see that the orange box has been added that displays the macro alias that's been inserted. If the developer has allowed the content to render inside the Rich Text Editor, you will see the content appear here inside of the orange box. Media Picker The last option in our example content tab contains a banner image media picker. You can see that the developer has included a note for this label that tells you where this banner image appears on this page and what the size of the image should be. Clicking in the box with the plus sign opens a menu that allows us to select an image from our media section. From the menu, navigate to the appropriate image you would like to select and click the image. The image will be picked and placed into the box to show you which image you've selected. SEO tab. The next tab on our item is the SEO tab. This tab has two very basic properties, a text string and a text box multiple. The text string is our page title tag, which is used for the title tag that appears on this page when it opens in your browser. The text box multiple is used for the meta description, which allows us to give this page a description in the HTML markup that search engines will see when scanning your site. Properties tab. Every item in the Umbrico content section will have a properties tab. This tab gives you general information about this item, in particular, including the unique item ID, who the item was created by, when the item was created, when the item was last edited, what document type the item is, what template the item is using, and a quick link to the document. You are also given options to publish at and unpublish at for this item so that you can specify a date and time for when you would like this item to publish or unpublish from the content section. If there is no template chosen, then this item would be considered just a node in Umbrico and not a page. A page will have a template assigned and you can click the link to document to open this page and view in your browser. If you click the link to this document on a node where there is no template assigned, you will receive a 404 error because this page does not exist. This is normal as the node is where you are managing content for an item that you want to appear somewhere else. Remember the testimonials we looked at when we were learning about macros? Those testimonials were acting as nodes since they do not have templates nor individual pages assigned to them. Any other options available on the Properties tab are set up by a developer and are specific to your website. 
A common property you may notice used is the Hide and Navigation checkbox. This checkbox will hide the current page in the site's navigation.